Good morning and welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. Ryan here. Hope everybody had a fantastic 4th of July weekend. Uh, so today, this Monday, we've got 11 homes on the market over the weekend. The first of which is located at the Meadows and Morris Farm. It's a detached colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. 409999 is the price tag. Five years young. 2,072 square feet above grade. And it looks like um, an unfinished basement. Um, it does say that there's a rough, rough end for a potential other bathroom, um, but that is something else you have to factor in. Two car garage. There's no pictures, so it's hard to get a feel for the interior here. It's located on a cul-de-sac, um, but the price tag being under, you know, 415, 425,000, definitely makes this appealing. The lot size is 0.172, so it's getting close to a quarter acre, so it's reasonably um, a reasonable amount of space on the exterior as well. So definitely keep your eye on that one. Six five two eight Wall. Wallasey Wet Court in Piedmont Muse. Sorry, I can't talk this morning. 519,900. It's attached colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. Um, 0.146 of an acre. Built in 2010, so it's four years young. Almost 4,000 square feet total. It's located on a cul de sac as well. Brick front, two car garage. Looks like carpet there in the living room and the dining room. And it looks like hardwood in the foyer area, family room area. It flows through over to the kitchen, hardwoods in the kitchen, and also a sunroom extension off the back, stainless appliances, and granite countertops. 3,220 square feet above grade, so a good amount of living space. There's the master bathroom, spare bedrooms, and a finished basement area as well. As you can see, it's nice and wide open, and another bathroom down there, and it's a walk up basement, um, relatively flat backyard. It's only, you know, just over an eighth of an acre, so really a little bit smaller. Um, but it's four years young, almost 4,000 square feet. I think the price tag is is reasonable there. 7039 Savage Lane and Green Hill Chris Crossing. It's a waterfront in-unit townhouse for 312,500, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 1,850 square feet total. There is a $2,500 carpet decorator allowance being offered on this property. So we'll see if there's any pictures. Here's a deck out back. It's not fenced. And here's a water uh, view of the water there. Built in 2000, so it's you know 14 years old, but um, you know a little bit older than some of the other townhouses that we review in Gainesville for the most part. Uh, I think the price tag is reasonable for the view that you're getting here. Uh, almost 2,000 square feet total. It's uh, definitely close close walk down there to uh, Old Town Haymarket. Um, a lot of shopping and restaurants nearby, so reasonably priced. 15914 Gray Mill Manor Drive. This is in South Market, 339900 Four bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths. This is one of the larger townhomes um, we've got because there's extensions, it looks like, pretty much on all three levels. It doesn't show us any pictures, so we're having to just go off of the comments. It says upgraded cabinets, hardwood floors, uh, master bedroom with two size closets. We got, um, let's see here, built in 2007, so it's seven years young. Uh, you know, I'd say for the price point in South Market, many of them have been trending up towards that 350000 anyway. Uh, looks like there's a two car garage on this one as well, which would be located on the, on the rear of this house. So, all in all, solid home there, and I think that, uh, you know, it might move relatively quick. 4460 Forest, Lynn Forest Drive and Lynn Forest Subdivision, 739900 Um It's off of Sudley Road and then off of Lynn Forest from there. Eight acres, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, detached colonial, almost 4,200 square feet. So you're getting nice acreage here. We'll go through the picks. So as you can see here, um, you have, it looks like to be a stable. Uh, it says a great home with equestrian amenities, so I'm assuming that they probably are housing horses there. Up here you can see some of the stalls, and everything is kind of fenced in, so you're basically getting a nice little uh, horse community. Um, and we got hardwood floors in the interior here. Kitchen looks like it's been remodeled, built in 1988, but it does look like it's been updated. Uh, back tile backsplash, we've got stainless appliances, granite countertops. Some mid-grade cabinetry, as you can see there. Family room. So you can tell, you know, it looks a little bit older, not the higher ceilings that most people are used to, but 
it's been renovated and it looks like to be well taken care of, um, which, you know, I think that uh, with the other building out there, the fences and, and, and the stables and everything that you have, I think that the home is priced reasonably. Um, it's a good amount of square footage for the for the home as well. Uh, so definitely for those looking for, you know, a horse a horse type farm, a smaller one, eight acres. I think that that's a decent option. Eight seven zero four Harefield Lane in Glenkirk Estates. Once again, smaller lot sizes in Glenkirk, under just under an eighth of an acre. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 485,000 with almost 3,400 square feet total. We got a brick front, two car garage, uh, tile backsplash in the kitchen. It looks like uh, some nice um, cabinetry there, and it looks like to be granite countertops from the distance. And there you go, there it is. Even kitchen area, family room off that. It's a pretty open floor plan, as most of them are over there in Glenkirk. <laughs> Master bedroom, which flows through to the master bath. Built in 2010, so it's four years young. And then you have the, the finished basement area down here. Um, house shows well. I mean, it's it's relatively young. Smaller lot sizes, so that's going to be the only drawback. It's under 500000 though. Um, reasonable uh, price tag there, and I think that that one might move pretty quick. 6991 Rogue Forest Lane. This is also in Green Hill Crossing, 315000 uh, a little bit more than the, uh, I think the, what was the first one that we reviewed was 312,500. So this is just slightly more, um, 1,520 square feet. And then you got the basement area where they're in the one car garage, um, three bedrooms, two full baths, two halves with a two level bump out on this one. And pretty standard builder grade kitchen, not that many upgrades. Um, deck off the back. Pictures are somewhat blurry. Um, so it's hard to get an idea. House shows okay. I think that they're definitely going to be priced toward the top end of the range. Um, so I, you know, I think that that subdivision. This was built in '98, so a little bit of an older town home for this area. Uh, but um, you know, there's not much out there near the 300 mark or so. It could be uh, one that moves a little bit quicker than others. 8400 Cleveland Bay Court and Bridalwood 424900. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just under a quarter acre lot, almost 3,400 square feet with 2,300 square feet above grade. Um, it looks like the interior photos are going to come later today, so hard to judge on value. However, at 425, um, you know, I think that it's reasonable. There's not much out there on a quarter acre lot with almost 3,500 square feet. Uh, so we we'll want to keep our eyes on that. 15607 Thoroughfare Road, 100,000. It's a detached Cape Cod. And it says, you know, this is an investor alert. Again, builders and cash buyers uh, looks to be um, something that's going to probably be a tear down and build a, you know, a brand new house or completely have to renovate this from top to bottom. Three bedrooms, one full bath on one acre. So you're basically buying the acreage here. Um, it's left on, uh, you got to get on to Route 15 South and then you make a left on thoroughfare off of Route 15. So investors out there, there's not much that we ever see for 100000 So it's got some great potential um, there to do to you know to tear down build a brand new home um or you know I, that's probably going to be the better option because i'm imagining that bones that house was built in 61 so it might be the better route to go 2755 meander creek lane and mountain crest estates 875 this is a 10 acre track um four bedrooms four and a half baths colonial with a two car side load garage uh does not have the interior square footage on this one it looks like over 6,000 square feet though it does say within a listing no pictures to look at as of yet um, see what else it says there's a solarium off the main level um, not much else to go off of so it's gonna be hard to determine on price here 10 acre track is obviously nice it's on well and septic uh, but we might have to revisit that one when there's pictures to look at 6997 Sun Apple Place and Green Hill Crossing so three three townhomes in Sun Hill, uh, Green Hill Crossing today this one's two ninety nine nine hundred. Uh, almost 2,000 square feet with bump outs on um, all three levels, it looks like. Actually, it's in the kitchen in the rec room. Um, so on two levels, it looks like there's the bump out. One car garage, hardwood floors in the foyer. There's the main level. Kitchen looks to be the same builder grade. It was built in 2000. Looks like linoleum flooring in the kitchen. The other bedrooms. 
you know, it's another town hall priced under 300. Like I said, everything's been trending up 300 to 315 to 325. Um, so this one is under 300. So uh, obviously this is going to get a lot more looks just because it is under that key number. Um, so that's all we got for today, guys. Pretty big list. If you'd like to schedule showings for any of these, give us a call. 703-596-0011. Or as always, you can contact us through the website at GainesvilleHolmesDaily.com. Enjoy your Monday. We'll be back with you tomorrow.